Veronica is a 22-year-old girl who suffered a motorbike accident last year resulting in a spinal cord injury. This created profound physical needs and a reduction of 90% of her motor function. This accident was very traumatic for her and her family. She spent most of the last year in the hospital undertaking neural rehabilitation and now has started trying to recover her daily life. She feels that she needs constant assistance to carry out daily routines like moving around her home, studying, doing her homework, turning on and off the radio and TV and calling a friend to chat. Our initiative Brainable is about empowering Veronica to feel more independent and in control. Brainable facilitates the adaptation of Veronica and others in similar predicaments to their new situation by helping them in the inner environment composed of everyday life activities like controlling the house elements such as the TV, light, heater, wheelchair, etc. and the outer environment aiding her to make new friends and sharing experiences with them by giving her access to social networks. Brainable researches, designs, implements and validates an ICT-based human-computer interface composed of a brain-neural computer interface, environmental sensors, physiological sensors, virtual environments and ambient intelligence. The Brain Neural Computer Interface, or BNCI, is a novel method of interacting with IT systems, bringing new possibilities to severely impaired people. In effect, it is a direct communication pathway between a brain and an external device. This technology uses a sensorized cap, sensitive to the electrical signals of the brain. Veronica is then enabled to select options by doing mental exercises such as fixing her gaze in a specific point. Then Brainable can read these signals, process them and extract useful information. The key features of Brainable are a novel BNCI paradigm to allow severely impaired users like Veronica to interact with the environment, a proactive smart home to predict her needs and wishes and give her control over home elements, such as a simulated wheelchair, and a virtual reality world, where she is able to meet new people and share experiences with them. The BNCI system requires a training period for Veronica to feel comfortable with this new way of communication. For that purpose, a virtual reality application with an accurate representation of Veronica's home helps her to be more comfortable in the first contact with this technology. The virtual home is created by means of an XML-based language that permits a precise and realistic representation of the user's immediate environment. The virtual reality of Brainable breaks the mobility barriers of the end users by enabling them to virtually interact with their own home. When Veronica interacts with the virtual elements of the home by means of a BNCI, these actions have a similar effect in the real world. These are what we call virtual to physical gateways. A BNCI requires a lot of attention by Veronica, and this may cause fatigue. Brainable amends this situation by embracing what we call effective computing. So when Veronica feels tired, the built-in fatigue switch fulfills this by suggesting a change in the way of interacting with the systems. Three different interfaces are envisaged in Brainable for this. BNCI, EMG and motion tracking systems. But the final goal of Brainable is to assist Veronica in carrying out daily activities like turning on and off the TV, switching on and off the lights, changing the channels on the TV, contacting friends by Twitter and Facebook, or joining the Brainable virtual community, which is a virtual space to meet new people just for a casual chat. Let's see the benefits of Brainable.
Brainable is intended to help Veronica and other people with severe disabilities feel more comfortable and assisted at home. Veronica controls the lights of her home by choosing the right option in the HexoSelect interface, which will send the selected option to the BNCI engine. The same steps should be followed to control other elements of the house like her TV. She is able to change the channel mentally. Furthermore, Brainable models a wheelchair by means of a telepresence service, which makes possible a free in-home navigation for Veronica. Such functionality is enhanced by a built-in camera that provides a video service to help her in moving around. BNCI interaction requires a high amount of processing, limiting the detection speed of a choice. Brainable builds up a proactive environment that helps Veronica in her everyday life. A set of configurable rules can be made to allow Brainable to trigger automatic actions. For instance, when it gets dark, the Brainable smart home detects this and turns the light on. Apart from the configurable rules, Brainimal is also able to learn the habits of Veronica by means of artificial intelligence techniques so that the system autonomously can suggest a potential action that she may need. This graph shows a part of knowledge the system has learned. The horizontal axis is the time of a 24-hour period and the vertical axis is the frequency of the TV on action made by Veronica. As you can see, she usually turns the TV on at 6 in the evening. At 6, the system will propose to turn on the TV for Veronica by using the statistics it has learnt. When the system detects an action that Veronica might take, the BNCI interface gets updated to include those potential actions that she may want to do. One of the biggest problems of being severely impaired is limited mobility. Sometimes Veronica feels alone because it is very difficult for her to find people just to have a casual conversation. Brainable supports her here by providing access to social networks such as Twitter or Facebook where she shares her thoughts and feelings with everyone. Veronica is able to meet other people in the Brainable virtual community, a virtual world where she can explore and socialize with others. In this virtual world, she can decide how she wants to look and communicate by chat or even use non-verbal expressions, such as face expressions, to transmit her emotions. The system has been designed by using a modular architecture. As you can see, it is composed of several different modules. The first is a BNCI module responsible for capturing the user's brain signals and decoding the choice that the user is trying to select. The second is an AMI block that contains the ambient intelligent reasoning. The AMI is able to infer the user's needs from their current context. The context is extrapolated from environmental sensors to create a proactive and assistive home. The third module is the VR, which manages all the functionalities related to virtual reality. The smart home and social services are provided through the UCH middleware. UCH stands for Universal Control Hub and it abstracts the functionality of the services by providing a common interface for controlling them. As a result, this dramatically solves many communication issues. The modules and smart home devices of Brainable are interconnected through a local area network. The modular approach makes it possible for different teams to develop modules independently and simultaneously. This approach, coupled with the use of simulators, has improved productivity, testing and has allowed individual components of the prototype to be demonstrated. For example, a BCI simulator emulates the behavior of a real brain neural computer interface. We can develop the AMI block, the virtual reality and the UCH while the behavior of the BNCI is being emulated. Therefore, 
we can verify that the smart home devices are working properly. We can also use the simulator to control the lights or we can navigate virtually in the VR without the need of the whole system to be running. Brainable is a research project that attempts to go beyond the state of the art by providing new solutions in virtual reality, ambient intelligence and brain neural computer interfaces. At the end of the second year, Brainable is in a prototype stage. However, major achievements have been already reached, such as the application of the new ExoSelect interface, the combination of the BNCI technology with effective computing, or the inclusion of ambient intelligence techniques to enhance the user experience. Brainable is not only about science, it is also about our fiction character, Veronica, and all the people in similar situations.